Okay, figure 9 shows a graph of displacement y against distance x for a progressive wave propagating to the right in a string with mass uh, 920 gram, uh, length 3 meter, and tension 15 newton. Determine the progressive wave equation. Okay. Okay, uh, so this question wants us to uh, determine the progressive wave equation. Uh, we, we need to write down the progressive wave equation. So first of all, what is the general form of progressive wave equation? Let's write down first also. Uh, the general form for progressive wave equation is this. Y equal to uh, A sine... Um, Omega t plus minus kx. Ah, so uh, y equal to a sine omega t plus minus kx. So we need to identify what we need to identify. We need to identify the amplitude, the omega, the k value, and the direction of the wave. Direction of the wave. Ah, okay. Ah, so. Uh, one more thing about the omega. How to find omega? Uh, omega is uh, 2 pi over period. Uh, 2 pi over period. Or 2 pi... Okay, wait. Or 2 pi f. Uh, so once you got the frequency, once you got the frequency or period, you can find omega. Uh, and about the uh, k, the wave number, Okay, the wave number, uh, this uh, k is called the wave number, is 2 pi over lambda. So once you got the lambda, uh, then you can find the wave number. Okay? Uh, so uh, these are the things we need to find out. What is the lambda? What is the period? What is the frequency? What is the direction of the wave? What is the amplitude of the wave? Then we can find, find the equation. Okay? Alright, so first of all, from this graph, what does it tell us? This is what graph? This is a y versus y versus x graph. Uh, you look at the axis here. Y versus x graph. So this is a y versus x graph. Y versus x graph can help us to find lambda. Uh, lambda. So why to find the lambda? Lambda is the x-axis. The x-axis get us the lambda. Uh, so this is one lambda. And from, from here to here is one lambda. From here to here is another lambda. So this value is actually 2 lambda. Ah, okay. If you have another kind of graph, which is y versus t graph, uh, y versus time graph, that one helps us to find period. Or, or we can find frequent. Uh, help us to find period. Lah. Okay, help us to find period. Okay, uh, for the x-axis. If the y versus x graph, you find lambda. For y versus t, you find period. Okay. Uh, but this is a y versus s graph, so this is lambda. Okay, so we got the, okay, so let us find out the lambda first. We already got the lambda, but be careful with the unit. Uh, be careful with the unit. This one is centimeter, this one also centimeter. Uh, so we must change to SI unit. Okay, we must change to SI unit. Yeah, change to meter. So this uh, wavelength is in centimeter. We need to change to meter. Okay, now let us do it. So we got uh, 2 lambda is equal to, you know, this is 1 lambda, 2 lambda. That's correct. Okay, 2 lambda equal to 50 centimeter, not meter. Ah. Be careful. Ah. You must always check the unit ah, at the axis. Ah. Uh, you must change to SI unit. Ah. Okay, so this is uh, 25 centimeter for lambda. Okay, so uh, change to meter, divide by 100. 0 0.25 meter okay we got the lambda so from lambda we can get the wave number which is uh, 2 pi over wavelength okay so uh, 2 pi divided by 0 0.25 meter okay so what do we get what do we get let's calculate uh, we get oh it is 8 pi uh, 8 pi what's the unit uh, this unit is 
per meter because just now we changed the lambda into meter already so this k also is per meter not per centimeter okay okay we solve we got the k now we need to find what we need to find uh okay another thing from this graph what can we know from this graph the x axis the x axis tell us the lambda tell us the lambda because it's y versus x graph y versus distance graph give us the lambda so there's the x axis the y axis give us the amplitude ah so this is the so this is the amplitude ah this is the amplitude so what is our amplitude okay our amplitude is 12 not 12 meter is 12 centimeter ah, so be careful we must change it to meter as our unit 0 0.12 meter divided by 100 okay so that's our amplitude solve we got the amplitude now we need the omega omega we need the period or the frequency but this is y versus s graph give us the lambda we don't have period so what do we do uh, that one depends on this information uh, so here he says uh, propagate in a string uh, with this mass this length and this tension so we have the mass of string length of string uh, tension of string uh, so have you learned about this sound sound wave the application of standing wave on on the string closed pipe and open pipe ah the application of standing wave in string closed pipe and open pipe for the string part we le we, we learn about the formula for to find the speed of wave speed of wave in the string uh, speed of wave in the string which is uh, square root tension over mu mu is the mass per unit length uh, mass per unit length so we use this this formula uh, v equal to square root t over mu mu is mass per unit length okay so let's use this formula okay let's use that formula so we write at bottom here the speed of wave in the string yeah speed of wave in the string is uh, square root tension over mu okay uh, so we have the tension this is tension uh, not period uh. write that down first this is tension uh, this is the tension not period uh, 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 just now uh, this one this one is period is different uh. this one is period uh, this one is period not tension this is period the t over here is period the t over here is tension so be careful uh, all right so next uh, we have um, uh, then tension so okay uh, we have uh, we have the ten uh, we don't have the mu yet isn't it but we have the mass and length so we need to find the mass per unit length which is mass over length Okay, mass over length so uh, we have okay this one is in gram uh, we must change to kilogram so we be careful with all the non SI unit we must change to kilogram so divide by thousand we get zero point divide by thousand uh, 920 divided by thousand you get uh, 0 0.192 kilogram per length length is already in meter meter so no problem uh, so already in SI unit okay so what's the answer for this 0 0.92 uh, divide by 3 you get uh, oh uh, 0 0.30 uh, uh, 6, 6, 6, 6. so 667 yeah there's many six there ah so this is kilogram per meter so we already got the mu the mass per unit length so we can find the speed of wave in the wire yeah speed of wave in the string which is a uh, tension divided by uh, square root tension divided by the mass per unit length uh, okay so let's get it yeah so 15 divided by this and then third answer okay the answer is 
the speed of wave in the string is 6.9938. Uh, uh, maintain as many decimal places so that more accurate. Uh, 38. Okay, so meter per second. Uh, this is the speed of wave in the string. Okay, uh, this is the speed of wave in the string. Ah, so this is the value. So uh, from here we can find the frequency uh, which is needed in this uh, question to find the omega. You know, once we know about the speed of wave, because we already got the lambda just now. Lambda we got from the graph, isn't it? Uh, lambda we got it. So we also got the speed of wave. So how to find the frequency? Very simple. V equal to F lambda. Uh, v equal to F lambda. So V equal to F lambda. So V is 6.9938 meter per second or SI unit. Okay, frequency lambda is 0 0.25 meter, already in SI unit also. Okay, so, and we get the answer. Uh, ah, 27, it is 27.9751. Uh, 27.9751. Uh, 9751 okay hertz okay so we got the frequency uh, okay so the next step is to find the omega is to start find the omega the so omega is 2 pi f uh, 2 pi f so uh, 2 pi multiply 27.9751 uh, which is um, which is Ah, omega is 175.773 uh, ah, So we got the omega ah, So omega is, um, uh, you know, omega is radian per second Or oh, just write as per second also can, yeah? Uh, radian per second Okay, so we got, we got, we got it uh, We got it Oh, just now this one is uh, the K uh, you want a K? Uh, this, uh, this one you can write radian per second or just write as per second also can. Uh, no, no problem. Just like just now the wave number also, you want to write as meet per meter or radian per meter also can. Yeah? So both accepted. Uh, yeah? The radian is not as a unit, so actually you can ignore it. Okay. Uh, Alright. Now, uh, another thing. We already got the amplitude, omega and K. We don't know the direction. Ah, but he said he say already this he said the wave propagate to the propagate to the the wave propagate to the propagating to the right ah to the right so what does it mean the wave going to the right the wave go to the right means negative kx ah means negative kx okay ah so negative kx uh, it go to the left is positive kx. So still remember that that uh, that simple rule. Ah, you see, ah, uh, this is the wave direction. Ah, uh, so if you have a, a positive kx, positive kx means wave move to the left. If negative kx means wave move to the right. Ah, uh, negative kx, negative kx means wave move to the right. So. Uh, this one, uh, wave move to the right means negative kx. Negative kx. Uh, so we got everything. So now we just rewrite everything. Yeah, rewrite the inform rewrite the equations. Uh, so now write it properly. Yeah, write it properly. Uh, okay, I want to uh, readjust all these things. Yeah, it was a bit messy. Yeah. Um. This one. Uh, goes here. Uh, okay. So all already in a ah, good shape. Okay, now we can write write our write down our equations. Y equal to what's our amplitude? Our amplitude is 0 0.12 meter. I'll write it down. Zero already in SI unit. 0 0.12 meter. And then sine 
Okay, what's our omega? What's our omega? Omega is uh, 175.773. Uh, 175.773 uh, T. And then what is the positive or negative? Yeah, negative Kx because move to the right. Negative Kx. So what is our K? Our K is um, 8 pi. Uh, okay, it's 8 pi. Okay, uh, if I want a value in the terms of value, 8 pi equal to 8 pi equal to uh, I can say 8 pi. This pi value is actually is equal to 25.13. Uh, if I need yeah, the value, okay, so ah, uh, that's it. Uh, but but don't just write the equation you must what you must do you must uh, write down the unit also yeah you must write down the unit uh, if you just write equation without unit that's incomplete okay so you must write where y and x in what's a what's a unit for y uh, because we already changed the amplitude to meter uh, we already changed the amplitude to meter so the amplitude here is meter so your y is in meter understand uh, your y is in meter how about the x your how about x x depends on k uh, your k is already in per meter you see that already in per meter uh, so your x is in meter uh, so they all being cancelled off you see that this all you this unit can be cancelled off uh, nicely yeah, already all in SI unit. Okay, uh, all already in SI unit. So my y is in meter, my x is in meter. So I can write here my y and x is in meter. Uh, and then, and then you must write how about, and then the time, and then how about the time? Uh, your time uh, is in, uh, your time is in, how about your time is, your time? Your time is in what? Where is it? Uh, your time is in um, second uh, because your velocity in meter per second, so your frequency so it must be per second. Uh, so so your 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 omega is per second. Your omega is per second. So your time must be in second. Understand? Uh, so uh, we got it correct. Uh, so uh, our time is in second uh, or in SI unit okay so once you got all that then you are correct uh, okay you must have unit you must have unit very important okay so is that correct my equation uh, 0 0.12 that's correct sine uh, 1.75 exponent uh, 2 which is uh, 175 correct okay and then minus uh, minus because move the wave move to the right uh, wave move to the right so negative kx correct and then 8 pi 8 pi is actually 25.133 uh, 25.133 per meter 25.133 so this is 25.13 that's correct also yeah but put 8 pi also can yeah x so my answer is correct you can leave the answer as 8 pi also yeah not necessarily change to value okay so uh the y is already in meter meter unit okay so everything is correct 25.13 25.13 8 pi that's correct so this is a complete answer very good okay so that's all for these questions okay hope you like and enjoy importantly uh, like and subscribe and share to your friends. Okay, bye.